Blackboard Nerdigans. This is the one only Packer Girl 89. And today's Anime Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Black Clover Season 2, titled I'm Home. So we are getting a new opening song, and I'm really fucking excited because hopefully we're going to get some uh, Sakuga animation because, god damn it, um, you really need to prove yourself, Studio Paradox. You really, really need to do. Anyway, let's get to the opening song and see what Studio Paradox going to give to us this time. Oh my god, so we're starting off with the Clovers. And then this is like at the one minute 55 second mark or 54 second mark and then 55 second mark we see the five leaf clover black turning black that is fucking cool i love it and also the clovers themselves look beautiful and also this uh, ugh, i'm loving that we're going with the rock soundtrack this is perfect this is what black clover needs you know the one minute 57 second mark i'm trying to figure out who that is i love the fire background it looks fucking cool it's definitely, I don't think it's Mary Leona. It can't be Fudge Leon because we're not seeing Fudge Leon in this arc. Because Fudge Leon just came back like not too long ago in the manga. And it can't be, it can't be Mon. Who the fuck is that? Please tell me in the comment section. It is driving me nuts. We see Noelle at the 1 minute 58 second mark and she looks gorgeous. I love it. This is the contrast that was missing in episode 63 that I was talking about. And I'm, I'm guessing my I'm guessing tweeting really pays off for me because shit gets done because <laughs> I tweeted the animators directly and I said look you guys need to work on your goddamn contrast because it looked really bad in episode 63 and oh my god it works Ooh, you know what the one minute 59 second mark looks bitchin that contrast looks awesome mm. Luck in the rain. Oh my god, that rain is beautiful. Not as beautiful as what I've seen um, in Captain Tsubasa 2018, but still beautiful. Very curious if that's real in the snow, like I think at the two minute, two second mark. Is that real like I think it is? I really want to know, because if that's supposed to be real, that does not, that, that does not look like real. And I, I don't understand why Studio Periot can just, you can't, ugh, it frustrates me. Real has not looked like real at all in this anime, and it, fucking pisses me off but god that snow though Ooh, you you guys are getting a studio Periot is getting better with our landscapes uh, i'm very very proud of you studio Periot. i'm get this is what i'm guessing at the two minute four second mark that has got to be charlotte um like it, it, it has to be because with that flower blooming right next to her that has to be fucking charlotte it, it like it, it took me a second because you know she doesn't have her hair in the braid but that's got to be Charlotte. I love it the two minute five second mark because that is definitely Yami. I love the symbolism of him in the desert because, you know, he's a wanderer. So that's awesome. And then at the two minute six second mark, that's the, it's either one or two char characters. I'm leaning more towards Julius and it's kind of hard to tell. But I love the background. It is gorgeous. And, and the soundtrack can we get more of this kind of, of this genre of music in Black Clover, please? Please, Studio Periot. Oh, I love this transition of, you know, with the black tornado behind him and then the candles and Asta transforming into the demon. Oh my God, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. And then the two minute 10 second mark looks fucking badass as hell. Oh, the demon still does not look right. The demon still looks bad, but it looks better than it did in episode 63. But something I just thought of, and I'm really curious what you guys think of, because the two minute 10 second mark is just making me think of this. Like in episode 63, what if we would have had that reverse contrast, that black background with the demon being red? That would have looked fucking cool, actually. But the demon still does not look like the demon. The demon still looks way too thin. Ooh, I love the, first of all, I love the color palette. And I love the transition of Asta to, um, to you know, and like how it went from red, from, you know, the red and the five leaf uh, clover to, you know, and the green and the four leaf, the green aura and the four leaf clover. That was really, really brilliant. And we have their, their, their badges, you know, their emblems right next to them, their crests. I think that's awesome. I don't know if I had anything, cause I wear my emblem shirt a lot. I don't know if it had anything to do with it. If, if with their decision if it did then you're very well and again the enemy community i have done something right i have done something right <laughs> and i need to get paid more for this but then, oh my god i, I can tell there have been someone at the uh, at studio peria has been reading the manga because recently in the manga you know's necklace has come up and oh i'm glad uh, as manga readers know oh i'm glad that's i'm glad that the necklace showed up there that was awesome barely oh no that's my girl 
wants to come over with Berlioz here, and she looks beautiful. She better look that way consistently throughout throughout the anime, or I'm gonna fucking hate you, Studio Periot. Oh my god! At that two minute forty one second mark, when we saw the back, uh, um, when you saw Marleona, and then you saw the line in the back, that looks exactly like her, when she remember when Marleona was on the cover. It looks exactly like that. Oh my god, I'm loving the decisions here. And then at the um, 2 minute 42 second mark, we see a lot of the, you see a lot of the characters. And I'm starting to think that, like, the um, the character with the fire that we saw earlier was Marleona. I'm really starting to get more convinced that there was Marleona. Oh, I love the red and the blue here at, like, the 2 minute, like, 43, 44 second mark. This is beautiful. Oh, Studio Period, you guys really have did yourselves yes 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 the two minute 46 second mark makes my life because we have we have land grease we have thin rule and then oh my god if, if that is if that is a uh, pottery like i think it is oh my god oh, that will make uh, that's either gonna be pottery or rotry um rotry being the elf that possessed uh land grease if that is rotry like i think it is that's even more brilliant and i love love the shade of red here the, Beautiful job, Studio Periot. Oh, I love the color change. The blue, because we have the, the sibling rivalry going on. Oh, this is so beautiful. Studio Periot. Where was this in episode 63? Where was this? Where was the, what I mean is where was this crispness? We better be getting cri more crispness this season. I swear to God. Oh my god, this is just, oh, the hype is so real. Oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait for the Magic Bad Games. Oh, 2 minute 51 second mark. There's Kirsch. Oh my god, I can't wait for Kirsch. I can't wait for Kirsch's voice actor. He better, oh my god. I, oh, I can't believe Kirsch is here. And you know who else is coming. And we're gonna see, I think we're going to see him here. Oh, he better be in this opening or I'm going to hate life. Zora! There's, there's Poppy. There's Daddy Zora. Oh my god, here he is at the three minute mark. There's Sora and there's his daddy. Oh my god, when we get to that when we get to Sora's backstory, I'm going to cry so hard. Cause it is so fucking sad. But the oh my god, I cannot put trap magic hype. Trap magic hype. Oh my god, I'm so hyped for the trap magic right now. We see little Sora, oh my god. I'm gonna cry when we see little Sora. Did you guys see that hidden darkness with you know I actually I should say wordings. Did you guys see? Did you guys see Rotry? The the darkness, aka Rotry, hidden behind land grease. Oh my god! This opening is so fucking fantastic. It is again at the three minutes sixteen s second mark. Oh my god! Like I, I liked it more when we subtly could see it, but man, again at the three minutes sixteen um, second mark. Oh, I love. Oh man, Studio Periot, this is fucking fantastic. So let me give you my thoughts about the opening overall, and then um, we'll get to uh, the start. We'll start um, talking about chapter, or <laughs> then I'll start my live reaction for chapter 101's adaptation of the manga. Um, this is probably my favorite opening song, um, song and animation sequence. I really, really love the li the contrast. I love the various sakugas we've got. Um, we got in this opening. It's really giving me hope for um, the rest of the anime. And oh my God, it's getting me so hyped. So hyped for Sora. I'm gonna cry so much when we get to the Sora content. And also I really love the um, the shout outs they did for uh, the manga readers um, in regards to the Sora content and the um, uh, Rotary content. Loved it. This was really, really, really good. Anyway, um, and the song was, oh, the song was so beautiful and I hope we get more, um, uh, rock uh, music content in uh, Black Clover. We really, really need it. So let's get to uh, chapter 101's adaptation. And I think this episode is when we're going to get the lore, um, the important elven. Oh my God, if we get the elven lore this week, I'm going to lose my shit. So here we go. Let's get to chapter 101's adaptation of the manga. We finally got a little bit more emotions out of Vanessa's face, which is really nice because that was a huge problem last episode. Um, we got some good animation from the... Um, the queen's uh which the bitch of the forest face which is good and the flat we got nice flashback song animation which is nice and i really like the ethereal music we're getting here that's been something that's been really good for the past uh couple of weeks is the ethereal um soundtrack ethereal slash whimsical soundtrack seeing the blood curse magic being removed and the music with it is just gorgeous 
gorgeous. I'm just, the thing that's just kind of breaking my heart a little bit is that I feel like we're not getting en enough, like, emotion from Vanessa's face. Because, like, or especially because in the manga, she has, like, a frown. And I know this is just being very nitpicky. But, like, in the anime, she just, like, for the most part was, like, indifferent. And it kind of because her face was just like a straight or smile excuse me was just a straight line i was like where's the frown i really really love this soundtrack oh my god it's so gorgeous oh my god the veins in the blood magic looks so much better like i, I have to mention this because comparing it to like when we first saw it and seeing it now oh my god it looks so much better but god damn why are you making i have to say this at like the four minute 59 second mark looking at asta's body why are you making Asa look so freaking thin? He, the, the boy has muscles, yo. Give him more line work so he looks more muscular. Another thing I like, I love that what, because uh, the wounds were healed, I love that it turned from red to green. I thought that was, that was really smart. 7 minute, 18, 19 second mark. Oh, he does, Asa looks a lot better. But something I'm kind of having a problem with, and this has just been like, I, I feel like a lot of this filler just does not need to be here. I I I, I understand like some of it being here, but I I just want to get to the war already. I want to get to the Elven War, man. We're like at the seven minute nineteen second mark, and we're still uh, we're, we're still not at Elven War yet. Like what the fuck? Come on, give me the lore. Like ugh. I mean, some of the stuff I totally understand being here, like uh, like ex the extension, like seeing the um, the uh, the blood magic healing, like totally understand that being extended. Fine, but like some of this stuff is just like, uh, come on, hurry up! I want to see the lore. I really want to see this animated. And here we go, Nero poking at the diamond on the Queen Witch of the Forest. This happened. It's coming. Our lore is coming. I'm going to stress this. Especially if you're an anime only. I'm going to stress this right now. But fuck. I got to stress this too. My, mon my manga readers here. Because I've... Uh, fuck. I've been saying this in a lot of my manga um, Nerdy and Live reaction for, reactions for Black Clover. This lore right here starting at the 8 minute 33 second mark is extremely important. Because um, one, it predicts what's going to be happening, uh, you know, it predicts the Elven Invasion arc, but a lot of what the Queen Witch of the Forest says here has has come to pass, but some of it has not yet come to pass. So let's get to this. Uh, and I'll, when, you know, she gets to the part where, um, I'll, I'll explain when um, uh, the parts has come to pass and hasn't come to pass when we get to it. So let's get to this. Okay, something that's kind of bothering me. And this is uh, starting at the 8 minute 43 second mark when we're going into the story of the elves. I wish, like, it would have been a beautiful transition. Because if you look at the manga, how Tabata transitions into it is you see it, the elven tribe on um, the uh, Queen Witch of the Forest's hat. I would have loved to seen it there. That would have looked so fucking cool. But I will say this. the I love that we have the cinematic blast style animation. And the color palette is very, very nice. I, I, I love it. This is, this is good stuff. Uh, I'm definitely down with this so far. I'm glad they had several dialogue here, like several centuries ago. Uh, several centuries, lady. How old are you? Oh, so the nine minute five second mark looks gorgeous. I love the contrast. It looks beautiful. We even, it even has because, like, if you look at the manga panel, uh, yeah, there's some buildings that shouldn't be there. Uh, but I, I kind of am fine with that. I'm fine with that being there. Um, I do I, something I will give you props for Studio Periot is you got the hand that's sticking up from the rubble, that single hand. Even though it looks kind of janky, you got it there, which is cool. Um, the thing that is kind of bothering me though is that it's just this red. I, I kind of wish because like if you look in the manga panel, the color is kind of broken up. It looks, because of this red, I know you guys are going to give me shit because I'm talking about uh, background, but, like, uh, uh, this is kind of important. Um, I kind of wish, like, we would have had, like, because what we saw in um, uh, Patri's flashback is that it was more of, like, it, it, you know, it was an explosion kind of thing. Um, 
that was going on. I kind of wish we would have had like a mixture of red and orange. Um, it would have looked a little bit better, at least to me. Uh, it wouldn't have looked as muddled as it does right now. Uh, um, or, like, I just, let me explain it better. Here, let me fix my wordings on this. The problem that's going on in this frame is that, similar to what we had in episode 63 with a lack of contrast, because there's a lack of contrast going on here, like, because of the red and, like, the muddledness going on here, you can't, it, it looks like a blob. Because, if, again, if you look at the manga panel, you see what Tabata did. You have, like, a lighter, um, the background's a lot lighter, um, and the foreground, you have, the, um, you have like, the, the mass of bodies is black, right? And then in the foreground, it's a little bit lighter as well, so you can see everything that's going on. Here, you cannot see that. So it, it would have helped if the, um, the background would have been a little bit of a lighter um, color, because uh, right now it looks a little too muddled, a little too muddy for me. I'm going to spoil you something right now for you nerdigans that, uh, well, the majority of people that are watching my live reactions are manga, are, <laughs> are manga readers anyway. Um, for those of you that are caught up, you guys know that Fauna and uh, Veto are already back. Yes, they are. And uh, for those that aren't fully caught up and already know about um, about uh, Pottery, aka Fakelet, we all know who it was. Fakelet, aka Pachi, that brought them back. God, I love that you. I love that Studio Perry got the smoke coming out of Ass's head because he's so fucking confused. Like it's just so beyond him right now. I want you nerdigans to pay attention to what the Queen and Witch of the Forest just said. And this is at the nine minute, uh, thirty two second mark, thirty three second mark, because this has definitely happened already. Um, Ordinary humans are unable to meddle with forbidden magic. Activating a... Well, I'm reading the manga dialogue here, so deal with it. Activating a forbidden spell requires an enormous amount of mana and some sort of sacrifice. Which is true. So now, hopefully, they're going to have the... Uh, Studio Parrot, you better have this fucking part of the lore here, or I'm going to be really angry because Dororo already fucked up... Or, sorry, let me rephrase, it, rephrase my words here. Um, Studio Mappa already completely fucked up lore with Dororo. I don't need you guys fucking up lore. I want you guys to prove prove to uh, to Mappa that you can fucking keep the lore straight. Oh, okay, let me talk about the Ancient Demon. This is like at the 9 minute 37, 30 second uh, mark. What Tabata did in... Um, what Tabata did in the manga what, uh, for the Ancient Demon, like he... She, uh, Tabata had like the black like uh, all black outline going on with uh, the um, different like uh, energy balls and stuff like or um, mo I should say mana balls and stuff like that and the horns and it looked bass as hell and had like a, like a really cool looking background that was like going from a light to a dark background now I'm looking at um, the 9 minute 38 second mark you're seeing the demon and also, like, the, something that's cool about the way that Tabata drew the um, ancient demon is it kind of gave us this sense of mystery. And the way that Studio Period is, uh, is given us this demon, it doesn't give us that sense of mystery. And also, the horns are completely wrong. They're way too long. Um, and also, there's supposed to be, like, lines coming down from uh, the second, first, or the bottom two eyes. And it's really annoying me that it's not there. <laughs> and the demon just looks so wrong. I don't like it. Like, I really, because I know from what a lot of you guys have been telling me on Twitter, um, especially in regards to episode 63, is that Studio Periop wants to have more Sakuga. Well, hello, you could have done some really cool Sakuga stuff with this. And you didn't. And it's really making me mad. I really can't stand that. We're not on, especially since we got, with the opening song, we had some really good Sakuga um, animation. Why aren't we getting it here? You could have done some really, really cool stuff here. This really makes me mad. <sighs> but unlike the majority of motherfuckers that would drop it for bad animation, I ain't dropping this anime because unlike Dororo and unlike uh, the Morose Mononokian, the writing is actually correct. Thank fucking God. That's the only thing that is saving your ass, uh, Studio Perry, out for me dropping this anime. And that's why I've been with it for 65 fucking episodes because the lore and the writing is actually correct. Oh God, Dororo pissed me the fuck off yesterday. People are giving me shit. It's like... Did you motherfuckers not read the same manga that I did? But they're anime only, so... Sorry, anime. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to do a video on 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 the anime only community, the American anime only community, because they're really starting to get on my nerves. I will say this though: the style that is is being shot in is actually really really nice. I love. Um, uh, I'm talking about the ancient demon. The ancient demon. The art. The art style that's being shot or shot in is fucking cool. It's just that the character design or the design of the demon itself is what's really fucking pissing me off. Cause you could have. It could have looked so much cooler in this style, um, or I just, with the style that's being shot in. It just looks like it doesn't belong there at all. It really doesn't. And also, like, uh, for example, you know uh, uh, what we saw in the opening song with the uh, reverse color palette with the, uh, with the demon, with the, uh, the demon being red and the black background? They should have done that. If they would have done that, if Studio Paradox would have done that, it would have looked so much cooler. It would have been so fucking cool. I would have loved it, especially uh, with um, the style that um, the scene, this uh, shot is being in, is in like that cinematic like style that would have looked so fucking cool and that was a really bad missed opportunity on you studio Periot. okay look at that 10 minute four second mark you could have given me that that even though the design is actually that design looks a lot better than what you just gave me like less than uh less than a minute ago you you could have given me that in that same uh art style and it would have looked so much better. Oh my, uh, not the exact same art style that, you know, that's in the 10 minute four second mark. I'm talking about the shot, uh, the art, the style, the shot that, um, that it was in. It would have looked so much fucking better. I don't know why the fuck you didn't do that studio parry out. That was a huge mistake. Okay, I need to talk about the 10 minute 19 second mark. You see this right here, that's two tone background. This is what I wanted. This is what I've been wanting for a long ass time because the thing that's really cool about this and you could they could have gone with in Studio Periot could have gone with the black too. And this is what I this is what I was kind of looking for in episode uh, 63 cuz you see how beautiful that contrast is and also that you got that symbolic meeting going on uh, as well. It, again, it could have been better with a black um, with the black back uh, with the white and the black because of like being on the border of um, light and darkness but oh my god if episode 63 would have had that background at the 10 minute 19 second mark oh my god it would have been so much better but oh my god the swords look goddamn gorgeous oh i did oh my god i cannot wait to see the ruined sword and by the way that is the real lit for those of you that are anime onlys and don't know but god this looks gorgeous this looks so goddamn cool. Um, let me have the manga panel up. This actually looks correct for the most... Uh, okay, the only thing that isn't correct is the direction of um, Lit's uh, clothes being blown. It's supposed to be blown to the left and not the right. But other than that, it's everything is actually correct. Um, oh, God damn it. Studio Periot, it is just fucking killing me that you did not use these this particular background earlier oh why just why i'm sorry i'm talking a lot about backgrounds but god this shit this is what i wanted in episode 63 pissing me off right now so the only thing that we haven't found out we everything that the queen witch of the forest has said thus far except for one thing has come to pass which is this um this is the only thing that we haven't found if you continue to fight them that mystery should also be resolved um uh, which is about, you know, the truth about Asta himself and where his powers come from. We have not found out the truth about that. We found out the truth, uh, and we, to an extent, we haven't found out, like, the real truth about, uh, about Lit. We still haven't found that out. Like, we, we, yeah, we got Lit's backstory, but we haven't found out, like, how, like, he completely fell, how he lost his, because remember, Lit had a four-leaf clover, um, grimoire and he switched to the uh, five leaf clover grimoire and yeah it ha we but we haven't seen uh, yeah i know how we, it happened but we haven't seen it happen um from his perspective so that that's what i mean something i just realized because of this because uh, uh, i totally forgot fauna is still in clover kingdom we might have a fauna versus fauna fight because remember fauna has been you know resurrected again um 
So this will be very interesting. I hope that happens. Tabata, you need to make it happen. We need a battle of the faunas. Of course we got censored because Finroll can't cry tears of blood in an anime. I am still waiting for, for Mars to come into the Elf Invasion arc. Tabata, please bring Mars into this arc. I would love to see Mars versus Veto. Oh my god, can we get Mars versus Beto? Seriously, I want to know if you guys think Mars versus Beto is going to happen. Oh, and another thing that I theorize is going to happen after the Elven arc is, um, if especially if Mars doesn't show up, is um, we're going to go to the Diamond Kingdom. I'm telling you, Diamond, we're, we are going to go to the Diamond Kingdom. That's why like when people say that the that Black Clover is going to be done after the Elven arc, no, 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 no. we're going to go to the Diamond Kingdom at some point. I got to say, though, the majority, uh, like, the farewell to the uh, Queen Witch of the Forest was beautiful. Or, oh, fuck, the farewells in general are beautiful. I love the so the soundtrack this episode is really, really nice. Gotta give you props, Studio Perry. I, I see you guys are watching Captain Tsubasa 2018. Reason um, maybe even a little bit of March comes in like a line, because the reason why I'm saying at least an animes like them, uh, Captain Tsubasa and, and March comes in like a line, is because... Uh, the soundtrack is flowing very, very beautifully this week. Very nice job, guys. So at the 14 minute 31 second mark, we finished chapter 101's adaptation of the manga and writing wise, it was, minus the filler stuff, it was perfect. Oh my God, I'm just thanking God we finally got some like perfect writing. Even though, yeah, I'm, not, I'm talking about perfect writing in regards to placement and everything because Mob Psycho 100 had its problems at the beginning, and, um, what was the other one? And, um, The Rising of the Shield Hero, uh, it had some writing problems, too, not gonna lie. It's just, uh, again, the, the biggest problem so far has been the animation. It could have been so much better. Where, where was the Sakuga I saw in the beginning? Where was that? Where? Where, 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 where was that? Anyway, let's, let, let's get to the next part of this episode here. Oh, before I forget, but the main important thing. About this episode that was here was the lore thank god 14 minute 48 second mark we start um chapter 102's adaptation of the manga oh my god studio periaka magma and lux transformations and this is at the 15 minute 24 second mark they got them perfectly oh my god i'm so fucking surprised right now they are fucking perfect my boys look like they are fucking super saiyans and they look amazing I love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, at the 16 minute 22 second mark, they're just like, after, you know, Asta told him that uh, his arms got fixed, they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> they just revert back. I'm like, I love it. Oh, but I can't wait. Oh, God. This is just making me think of um, uh, uh, Lux transformation. Oh, I love Lux. New, new, uh, well, after Lux got possessed by an elf, his, uh, his kick ass trans transformation. Oh my god, 16 minute 40 second mark, we get the, we get our nerds, nerd gosh, and, um, nerd, uh, nerd Gordon, oh my god, I've been waiting to see this animated, I'm not gonna lie, and I, I fucking love it, they look great. Okay, I do not like this, at, at the 17 minute, like, 40, uh, 39, 40 second mark, or fuck, even a little bit before that, when Gosh's nose starts bleeding, and it's, um, and Gordon says, oh, it's because when you uh, wish really hard for someone important uh, to you to be happy. Why? No! It's only for his sister Marie! Like, stop! No! No! And also, Gordon, why aren't you cursing at, um, at Asta? W what the fuck? This is not cool! Why are you fucking up manga canon right now, Studio Periot? This is not cool! No! No! No, no! Stop doing this! Don't, 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 no, Gordon, why are you not, no, you should not be, not be saying this, you should just be saying, you, you, you should not be thinking about this shit, you should just be cussing the fuck out of Asta, and also, uh, also, gosh, your nose should not be bleeding at all, so, Studio Perry, what the fuck, uh, uh, I've just been praising you writers, you're fucking ruining the manga canon now, what the fuck is this shit? Gordon, you are wrong, do not say this, do not say that, uh, gosh, cares, as about as about as as much as as as, uh, as Marie, do not say that. That is some blasphemy up in here. That is blasphemy. No, 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 Gordon. Why are you not cousin at Asta? No. I don't know what the fuck that is at the eighteen minute twenty seven second mark, but those are not mushrooms. Those are not the mushrooms that Tabata drew. Really? We're we're not gonna 
get the announcement? Oh my god. Okay, so basically, the rest of this episode is filler of Asta, like, doing chores, and I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of annoyed by this. Like, why couldn't you just end the episode of, of announcing the fucking festival? Because it's the festival! I'm so, I'm so hyped for the fucking festival, by the way. I'm so hyped for this shit. But, but, but why would you not mention the festival this week? This is stupid. I'm so goddamn mad. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let me give you my thoughts about this episode. So, I'm, I am, uh, oh god, I'm so concerned on so many levels for the animation. I really am. We're, I know we're not going to get great Sakuga greatness. For, uh, uh, as long as I get my Sakuga for um, uh, Sora's backstory and his trap magic, I will be very, very happy. But I, I don't think that that's going to happen. I, I don't think, I think... Um, Studio Periot is just fucking with us. I think they are fucking with us with this opening song, which, uh, which should be, which, which, which we should be getting. Like the animation should be as great as the Sakuganess. Like I, I don't understand. I mean, uh, I, I don't get it. Like, freaking David Productions is able to d provide greatness. Fuck. Even I would say, I would say that the animation in the actual episodes of Captain Tsubasa 2018 are better than the actual opening. I don't understand, fuck, I'll say it, uh, the same thing about March Comes In um, Like a Lion. I will say it about Land of the Lustrous. I will say it about um, uh, Main Abyss. The animation in the episodes are, are on par or even better than their openings. I don't understand why it's that hard for Studio Periot to do that. And I'm, what I'm really scared is, about is, is that um, because of the complaints that people gave them on Twitter, or on social media and, gem and and shit about like what they did in episode sixty three, they're go they're gonna be too scared to take risks, even though they gave us some gorgeous stuff here, like that half red half white background, for example, when we saw lit. Oh, that was so beautiful. Oh, I wish we had uh, the symbolism with it and everything. Oh, it works so well, and I wish we would have more scenes with that. But um. Another thing that I'm concerned, something that I hope we get to see, um, going into the, um, uh, the Magic Knights, uh, fights is I'm hoping we're going to see the battles extended a little bit more and we're going to see more of the fights that we didn't get to see in the manga, which that's what I'm hoping for anyway. And I hope they're going to look bass as hell, but oh man, I can't wait. Like the opening, the opening song got me so hyped for Sora. I'm so ready to see Sora, I, and I, uh, oh my god, the one thing I can't wait to see, and I'm hoping it's going to be in, like, a, um, a cinematic back style, and, uh, cinematic art style, and, like, I hope we get a lot of the, um, art style, we, are, like, are, uh, remember the, uh, Gosh backstory? I kind of want to see some of the art from there in, um, uh, in Sora's backstory, because it was, because it's so true for Sora, because Sora, remember the darkness that Sora faced, but man, I, I hope they do not censor Sora. Because Sora is uncensored as fuck. Oh yeah, and the other thing I'm looking forward to in the festival, for, before I forget, is remember, there's a drinking contest good, that's going to happen between Vanessa and Charlotte. Oh, I'm so ready for that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Can Zink if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can bring you more Black Clover greatness. There's a few ways you could do that. You can join to my PayPal, Patreon, or me, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdy Kins, I will be seeing you later. Bye.